I happy Memorial Day, and I love the boys. I love our boys, our American boys. Shout out to all you guys fighting abroad and, you know, doing the Lord's work, protecting us from COVID. But I do want to talk about the atomic bomb and some American history. So I know, you know, everybody thinks that we dropped the atomic bomb on Japan in retaliation of Pearl Harbor. And that's kind of truth, sees kind of false keys. The truth of the situation is Japan was just about to surrender. Um, the Soviet Union, um, after we defeated Germany, the Soviet Union decided to attack Japan. Um, and Stalin was saying, hey, I want to get Manchuria and all these territories that the Jap Japanese took from the Chinese. And they were like, we're going to take, we're going to invade Japan. So Japan was about two weeks from surrendering regardless if we dropped the atomic bomb or not. But Harry Truman wanted, who was the president at the time, don't forget FDR and Stalin and Winston Churchill were the big three, right? So then, but FDR died, shout out polio, FDR died. And um, with that kind of, it was a little weird. Harry Truman was a squeak. He was a short guy. Um, he used to get made fun of a lot by his, uh, oh, just dropped the phone. He used to get made fun of a lot um, by actually his mother. His mother used to tell him that he was supposed to be born a girl. And Harry Truman had a lot of like gender identity issues in the 40s. Like he would always be like, look at look at my feminine features. Look at my lips. Don't I look like a girl? And the cabinet was like, what? Secretary of War was like, yo, you wildin'. But so Harry Truman had a lot of issues. And when he came into office after FDR, he said, I want to fucking put my foot down and I want to make these motherfuckers believe that I'm the real deal and I'm the next FDR and blah, 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 blah. So in order to show dominance over the Soviet Union, because make no mistake, even though the Soviet Union was on our side, they kind of weren't. It's like we always knew the Cold War was coming. We always said, listen, boo, you know, it's like I want to believe that you're our friend, but you're kind of not. So that's how it went. So this, when the Soviet Union um, decided to invade Japan, Japan was definitely going to surrender because, baby, you got to understand the Red Army, 1.5 million man army just marching in Japan after they already lost like 27 million people fighting against the Germans and the whole, you know, Eastern European front. It's like, Bubba, how many people do the Russians have? Y'all be fucking so they had a big, big ass army. The Red Army was a huge army and they were invading Japan. They were going to come and invade Japan. So Japan, Japan knew that they did not want to lose their empire. They were going to surrender. But Harry Truman had the nukes. And really, the truth is, is that Harry Truman most likely probably dropped the nuke on Japan and killed 100,000 plus innocent uh, Japanese citizens um, to show dominance to the Russians and to scare the Russians because he wanted to say, hey, Russia, I trust you, but I kind of don't. So he dropped the atomic bomb to show dominance over the Russians, not really in retaliation to Pearl Harbor because the war was kind of already won by us. The war, Japan was going to surrender. That thing that they say where, oh, we would have lost a million men invading mainland Japan. Yeah, but Japan was, and they were going to surrender because they knew Russia was coming. And then once Russia actually entered and attacked in August of 1945, Japan was like, listen, no mas, baby. We don't want to do this anymore. But Truman dropped two nukes, not one, but two, just to really show domination over the Soviet Union. He told the Soviet Union, yo, we got a hundred of these puppies. And then it kind of led to the Cold War. And now there's problems. And now Russia's, you know, sending out. Now they're fucking with our elections. So I don't know. I don't know if that helped anybody. Happy Memorial Day. But it kind of, I'm just Chrissy Histories. You can watch this or not. And agree with it or not. If you want to comment and call me a pussy or, you know, whatever you want to do, that's fine too. I don't know why you would do that, but I know just people on Instagram, they want to be like, F you. Or, you know, when I post an anxiety Tuesday video on any other day, but a Tuesday, like, you know, it's not Tuesday. I'm like, you know, I know it's not Tuesday. That's why I'm posting it. I kind of post that on not a Tuesday to see who's an idiot. Uh, and it's like, you know, it's really Thursday. I know, I know, but it's a type of personality. It's a type of person that kind of just comments that needs to make those comments. They're very usually insecure people that just want to be heard. And that's fine. Listen, I got my own insecurities too. I mean, I won't take my shirt off in public because I got a big left hit. But I just kind of, it kind of lets me know, you know, who's tough to get along with. But yeah, so that's what I think the truth is about the atomic bomb. Um, I don't know why I made this video. I probably could have made it even a lot better. But let me know if you like something like this. Okay, I got to go help my kids clean their room. I have one kid. Oh, boy.